Super excited for the first home of the season and perfect weather here. Perfect weather at Murrayfield. So we'll do um, 15 minutes um, Fifteen minutes running time. Um, clock will only stop for goals or penalties. Um, and we will just sort of watch along with all of you and we're hoping for a win. Um, this team this year is full of a bunch of seniors. Um, a strong group of captains, um, a strong group of leaders in general. And I know the coaches were excited about, you know, the go ahead with the season. They they couldn't have imagined the seniors not getting this season. So we're down in the Norwood defensive end here. Um, DS coming out strong. We have Maggie Curran up on the player. Oh, steals the ball away right away. And she has Molly Mannering here on her left. Passes it across. Great and Molly's going to try to get it up. Ooh. And I'm sure what Molly wanted to do was get it up through to Maggie. <clears throat> And we have, that's two of the captains, Maggie and Molly. And then we have Caroline Davey here, number 16. She is another one of the captains. Looks like she'll get the hit in. And I am personally still sort of learning the new rules that have been added with the COVID season. Um, but there are a few little changes here and there. Obviously not allowed to touch the ball with their hands. Oh, so. yeah, the new rules have definitely been difficult for all the sports. <laughs> The, yeah, rest, the rest, the rest included. <laughs> yeah, soccer was, um, I was learning as I went or in the game before this. Probably, probably impacts soccer even more. Without the headers, without the throw-ins. We have number five, Shannon Gover, right in the middle there. And that's Annie Delaney out there on the far side. <clears throat> or, sorry, Brianna LeBlanc. Oh, yeah, number nine, Brianna, another one of our senior leaders. So a um, couple juniors, a few seniors. And as, as people know, it's only 7v7, so definitely different in that way, too. Not as many girls on the field, um, a lot more running. So these girls, Allison Dolliner, um, the head coach, and Caitlin Ottobart, assistant coach, they've been trying to get these girls in best shape they can because that's really you know that's going to be really important this season as it is always but maybe even more so <coughs> yeah absolutely so much more running with only seven players the mass definitely an added factor right yeah these girls are getting used to things as they go i'm sure and as we talked about during the soccer game the pros certainly outweigh the cons but there are some things that are a big change for them aggie curran pushing the ball through Ooh. Ooh. That was something was called. It looks like on Norwood. I think. Yes, ball. Not sure what that exactly was, but. Well, we'll know the rules by the end. Don't you guys worry. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon Gover passed it over to the outside to Bree. Be trying to keep it in back to Shannon, who's going to look over maybe to Molly. Yep. Oh, that's a great pass. And maybe up to Maggie. They've had some good sequences here. Oh, trying to get it across. Good reverse on Molly's end. But it does. It does feel like a different game to me. I mean, this is the first time I'm watching field hockey this fall, and I've seen my fair share of field hockey games for sure, and it feels different with the 7-on-7. Seven seven. Good steal from Caroline Davey, trying to get it up the line here to Molly. I'd also have to say, like, these short, this new short preseason has definitely been tough on the athletes and coaches. Very little time to prepare for the season. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, is hard regardless. And then you add in these new rules and sort of new ways to play. And I, I imagine it makes it even tougher. Shannon trying to push it through, but <clears throat> whistle blown. Delaney Gover will take it. Try to get it up. Just sort of getting stuck on the sideline there. Delaney will take it again. Passes it over to her twin sister, Shannon, who gets it over to Caroline. Just pushing it through. But DS is there. Oh, great play by Caroline. Oh. Darn it, DS ball. All right, 
one of these will go our way. Diaz with a long pass that may go out of bounds. <clears throat> she almost had it, but goes out on the far side over there. And we'll have Delaney go over bringing it in. Trying for a big hit up to Bree. Trying to, Bree's trying to keep her feet out of the play. As we know, if it hits your foot, they're going to blow the whistle. Great defensive play by Bree. Diaz taking it down. Looks like it's Diaz ball. They're going to try to cross it over. We have Norwood defense right there. Caroline Davy in the play and goalie Talia, who played very well yesterday, according to the coaches. Darn it. Okay. So Diaz is on the board. Ref calls it a goal. Um, just got crossed over super quick. Wasn't much Talia could do with that. Um, I think that was a really quick shot and a really strong shot um, from close range. So now we just see how Norwood bounces back from that. It looks like they are bringing Jenna Costa in for Brie LeBlanc. Um, Jenna's got some serious wheels, so maybe they'll try to use her speed to get the ball down to our end. Maggie Curran tried to get it through. Got stopped up by number four on DS. Oh, and we're going the other way. Shannon, I mean, uh, Coach Dolliner wants Shannon to take it, and she gets it up to Jenna Costa. Ooh. Struggles with it a little bit on the sideline there. Whistles, whistles. Here we go. Another DS ball. <laughs> Caroline Davy right there, ready to stop it. <laughs> Allison Dolliner's trying to remind them just to mark up a couple. A little couple, bit off in our defensive positioning right now. Yeah, a couple sort of wandering blue jerseys out there that she didn't like the like the sight of. All right. DS ball, so Mustangs have to look ready for defense here. Maggie Kern tries to break it up. She gets through her. It goes over to three. And this is when it gets a little hairy. Trying to bring it outside a little bit. And Norwood Mustangs are on the defense there quickly. There we go. Great job by Shannon. Trying to clear our defensive end here. Yeah, they're trying to just keep the ball out of the circle. And they're... Delaney is trying to hit it up, try to get it through to Jenna Costa. Delaney Gover sticking with it. And we've got finally a Norwood call on that. She'll try to get it across to Molly Mannering, number 11, one of the captains, who I think oh. was hoping to get that through to Maggie Curran, who was was the player that scored yesterday. It was a, a goal from Maggie Curran, who had uh, Molly Mannering on the assist there. So some of our offensive power comes from those two for sure. We just pulled in Mary great, Lee. Great pass. Um, for Molly Mannering. Oh, Maggie stays oh. with it. Oh, oh, darn. Unlucky. She might have had something going there, but whistle blown, blue ball. So now we have Mary Lee, senior, up on the front here as a forward on the left side. Kate Earl back here on defense now. Yep, Kate Earl holding it down an on defense senior. there.
Caroline wants to break through there, but that might have been a little too much, so they're going to give it to DS. And DS Ooh. with a shot from maybe even outside the circle. I couldn't totally tell, but yeah. it went wide right regardless. So. From number three. <clears throat> Caroline tries to pass over to Mary Lee to just sort of get it out of the center of the field, and Mary's dropping it back to her. Caroline's going to take it up. Caroline also has some serious wheels that they try to use to their advantage when they can. Another DS call. I believe he said it hit her leg. Okay. That uh, appears to be the gesture from the referee. <laughs> Blue's trying to push one through the crowd. They have good job Kate by Kate. playing defense. She's strong back there, good presence. Jenna Costa taking it up the side, trying to use her speed. Up to Maggie Curran. Maggie has such speed and strength, um, she can often just barrel through, through um, crowds and got called on something there. Looks like Mustang ball. Maddie Berry is going to take it. Strong presence as well as a junior. Maddie's going to take it again. Ref tosses it over. To Maddie Berry. Yep. <laughs> About three minutes left in the quarter, <clears throat> quarter here. She gets over to Jenna Costa. I'm sure would love to get oh. it across to the front of the net. Maggie with the backhand. All right. Got called on that one. So it'll be a It'll be a Mustang ball. Looks like Maddie's going to take it again out of the 25. She's going to pass it back and try to sort of repurpose it. Up to her, back up to Maddie. Oh. Mary's fighting in there. Long hit by DS. Looks like Delaney's on it. She's going to look up to see who she can get up to, trying to get it through to Mary. Mary will try to settle it, keep it in. Not let it hit her foot, but I know that's hard. Field hockey, it really is. Oh, Jenna does a good job coming across. Yep, Jenna's going to get back to that open space. We're coming down DS, and we're just trying to keep them from getting a clear shot here. Caroline keeps it out. Foot. So it'll be DS from the 25. Looks like 15's trying to carry it in. And we're under a minute and a half here in the quarter. The quarters of running time, for some reason to me, just makes it feel so much faster. Um, even if the time adds up to the same. Oh, good, Talia comes good out. Good save by Talia, clearing it out. Maggie Kern's trying to keep it on her stick. A little fight there. DS ball. We need white on it quick. So they're in close. Looks like Mustang ball. We have about a minute to get it up the field here and, and generate some offense. She's going to try to get over to Mary Lee. Delaney everywhere for the Mustangs right now. Jenna Costa handling it.
We want Delaney to run it up. She passes it up to Jenna Costa on the far right. We got 15 seconds here. We just got to get something across and someone in front to take the shot. Looks like Mary Lee's ready if it gets to her. Six seconds left. Someone will want to shoot it on net, oh. but obviously has to happen within oh. the circle. Ooh, a little tap in. Oh. oh, so close. Unlucky there to end the quarter. So we are um, finished with quarter one. We are down uh, one nothing here at Murrayfield with the Mustangs um, and DS, but there was definitely some, some promising things going on in that first quarter, especially as we neared the end of it. Um, even just that final offense, offensive push, if we see a little more of that, hopefully we can get the Mustangs on the board. So we will be back in a few minutes. Do you want to stay up to date with Nord Community Media? Then subscribe to our weekly NCM newsletter. Every Friday, our promotions department publishes an online newsletter that highlights the work of NCM and the latest happenings. It includes the full episode of Norwood News, recent clips from NCM programs, behind-the-scenes photos, and so much more. NCM works hard to deliver a steady stream of Norwood content, and this newsletter is another way to stay connected to Norwood. To receive the newsletter, just visit www.norwoodcommunitymedia.org. Scroll to the bottom of the page, click the sign up for our newsletter button, and enter some basic information. You'll then be added to our newsletter mailing list. It's all here on Norwood Community Media, your home for all things Norwood. Welcome back. Um, here we are going into the second quarter with um, Mustangs versus Raiders in Varsity Girls Field Hockey. Um, we have Molly Mannering starting us off here. She Looks came, like came in for Maggie Kern. Came in for Maggie Kern, sort of last minute there. She has it over to Mary Lee, who's taking a strong... Oh, not sure what that call was. Looks like DS ball. We have Mary, Molly, and Bree up front here. And we have Maddie Berry, Caroline Davey, and one of the Govers. I believe it's... It's Delaney, right? Eight's Delaney. Eight is Delaney, yes. Um, back playing defense, so um, a good mix of juniors and seniors here. Veteran players, and hopefully we're looking to get it down our end a little more this quarter. Tie it up. DS had a couple... Of couple opportunities that quarter. Um, Talia made a couple good saves, so looking for the Mustangs to, to do the same. It's like Mustang ball. Molly Mannering's going to, oh, no, she's going to pass it back. Have Delaney take it. Oh, and that's going to run out of bounds. Tough thing here with COVID. No ball girls. <laughs> no ball girls. I've only seen AD Mr. Longley running around <laughs> during the soccer game. Yeah, it's definitely a different feel overall with everything going on. I mean, uh, the change in rules, the change in number of players, the change of people in the stands. But Yeah, I'd say teams definitely have to bring their own energy this yeah, season. Yeah, exactly. Without fans, no students at games. Obviously, everyone's just glad they can play, and at the end of the day, that's what we want for them. But it is a little bit to get used to, for sure. And up to Mary Lee on the side here. She tries to get it through, looking for Molly. Caroline's on it, ready to defend. We're going to have get Maddie Berry back to help Delaney out. Trying to stick handle it around, keep it up the sideline. See who that's out on. Looks like it's. It'll be Norball. Delaney and Caroline switching sides here on the defensive end. She's looking to Maddie. She's looking to Mary and Molly. Trying to just get it through right now. DS turns it around. 14 to 3. She's trying to cross it through. 
for 16 to get a shot, but Caroline, Dele Caroline, Caroline Davies stays strong, helping Talia out, not letting anything through. We have a DS ball coming in. Molly Mannering went to tr try to cut that off. Ooh, oh. Talia, it's behind Talia, Talia, so we want to clear that oh. out, and they did. Great clearance. Not at all sure what the ref is pointed to there. Looks like DS ball. Luckily, we got that, cleared that out. I mean, with it came the S ball, but that was worth it because that could have easily snuck in behind Talia. Little reverse Ooh. shot left. So this will be a Norwood ball coming out. Looks like they're calling Mary Lee out, and they're going to have Maggie Kern go back in. Hopefully, Maggie can get something going for the offense. Maddie Berry's stick got caught. Got Shannon go over in the mix here. So Maggie Kern's come back in, and she's out on the left now. She's being aggressive, which is awesome. That's what yeah. they need right now. She's She broke it through, and she's going to try to carry it up, and she has Molly Mannering there oh, to help great her. pass. Maybe back to her would be a little give and go, but Molly shoots it. It's okay. Just wide. I think when you get those offensive opportunities, when you haven't had a ton, it's frustrating when you feel like you didn't get the perfect shot, but... That's what they just need to keep doing. Bringing it up slowly. Get the ball and goal. Long blue, long blue hit. Oh, Shannon and now we have right Shannon. there mixing it up. Getting it up to Maggie, who's gonna try to bring it up again. Cross it over to Molly, perhaps. Ooh, just over the line. Good momentum there for a minute, for sure. Caroline's going to break, break it up. Oh, good play by Maggie. So I believe it hit the defender's foot there. We have blue in possession here. Caroline again tries to intercept, which she does with Maddie Berry right behind her. Oh, she we have Shannon Gover right there. Ready to step in. Keep it from getting through to Talia. You can hear Coach Dolliner um, from the sidelines just encouraging all players to get back. And as, we, as we've commented now a few times, it's just different with the seven players. It's almost like they all need to be 
on offense or on defense yeah. in a different way than in the past. Absolutely. Everyone with a lot more responsibility on the field with only seven players out there. Exactly. You just all have that much more space to cover. Maddie Berry trying to fight through, and Maggie Curran, oh. good little through. Hopefully Molly can. Molly's trying to control it, but. Just about halfway through the second, a little more than halfway through the second quarter, but the six and a half minutes left. And we have Bree going out for a little break with a sub coming in. Ooh, oh, gets a little dicey there in front. Blue five with a shot from outside the circle. Hoping that one of her teammates probably would just tap it in. Coach Dolliner is definitely using the subbing to her advantage as these girls are getting more easily exhausted with the less players. And Jenna with a good burst of speed there down the sideline. Great play. I think that's Mary Lee there. And Jenna on the ball. Trying to push it through and hopefully get a clear shot right here if Mary can get herself centered. Back to Maddie Berry. Ooh. Maddie's fighting. Oh, she keeps possession of the ball. Get a good it's not one of them's gotten like a good real shot yet, but Ooh. there you go. That was good. Lizzie Save Cardini from though. over on the far side. Mustang ball. Caroline's right on it. Unfortunately out. That's all right. Yes, we'll pick it up right here at the midfield. All right, Jenna. Oh. Jenna trying to dribble it and just get it. Great play by get Jenna. Stabilized there. And Maddie Berry up, hoping it bursts through there. Jenna really looking good here in the second quarter to end it. And a lot of energy from the Mustang sideline. I know, it's funny looking over at the sidelines. They're all spaced out. and <laughs> But they still, they're still cheering everyone on. They're all in good spirits. Just shy of three minutes left here in the first half. I know the Mustangs would love to get something going here before they go into halftime. Ideally tie it up. Ooh. 
Strong hit from DS. Yeah. Looks like it might go all the way through without touching anybody. If so, it'll be a Mustang ball, which it is. We're looking at 150 left on the clock. If they could sort of chip away at it. They brought Molly Mannering back in and slowly bring it up the field, but not too slowly. Um, get some, get a, a shot or two on net. And this is Delaney here on the ball. Good job, Delaney. She gets around a few girls there. Good stick work. Molly Mannering picks up where she left off and passes it up to Jenna Costa, who has the challenge of keeping it in. That looks like DS ball. Oh, Mustang oh, one ball. Minute, one minute left here. Just a minute. Just a minute left. Molly tries to give it a little reverse up towards the circle. Come on, Molly, stay with it. She's trying so hard to keep it up there. Over to Mary Lee on the side here with 30 seconds left. Mustang ball. Coach Dolliner is encouraging them to to hurry it up. Shannon will pass it along. 12 seconds. This quarter, this half might uh, end with sort of a midfield play. And that's the half. I hope you'll come back and join us for the second half of this uh, Mustang DS field hockey matchup. We are down one nothing, but um, as we said earlier, there was, it was a close game yesterday. I'll be the 4-1 score, so we're looking for a strong second half from our Mustangs to come back and tie this up. And looking for our first win here with um, Norwood Varsity Field Hockey. Talk to you soon. Hello, everybody, and welcome into the sports update for this week. My name is Brian Dunn, and the first official weekend of the fall one season has come to a close, and there was plenty of action to go through. I'll let the wonderful NCM commentary team take you through every goal of the slate of soccer matches that took place over the weekend. Here's a recap of what you missed. Tim Lee with the ball. Oh, nice. Oh, he buries it. Nicely done. 420 left in the first quarter. That was a nice setup there, which is kind of, you know, Small little thing, again, being able to set the ball to start the whole play by just moving it forward. That was on the run. He's going to be able to pull in and stop, nice. change direction, and nice. he's able to bury it. Nice. Woo! Here we go. Yuri Nevis. Oh, and that would be the final yeah, There we go, and that's the uh, look we're looking for there as Norwood is able to open up its 2020 season. With a very impressive, Eric, I thought a very impressive 2 nothing win. For audience in Burlington, Vermont, a little happy. I hear rumors there might be someone up there with an interest in this game. Oh! oh! Well, how about that? Look and at that. Yep. And the Whoa. freshman scores. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little elbow bump it out there. Nice. Nice yep. job. That's a good way to finish a quarter. Yeah, Aiden Keogh there with the goal, and I think it just kind of, the, the ball was just kind of sitting there. No, it's, oh, it's going to do it. That is going to do it for your Norwood Mustangs. Starting out the season with a big 1 0 win over the Mohawks from Millis on freshman Aiden Keogh's first goal. And it's not. Oh, there, you go. That nice hop. there we go. All right. Yeah, oh, there we go. Come on. Now we go. Come on. Come on, Samantha Rose. Oh, that's Go, 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 one. Samantha. Let her rip. Let her rip. Come on. Yes, I think it's going to win. Oh! <laughs> oh, that, that was, was beautiful. Absolutely. Does the, does the goal get credit for that, too? Does the <laughs> does she get Oh, yeah. Well, Samantha it all started Rose there. Is outside with the goalie up through a fantastic right, now. transition. And, uh, there it is. That's it. That's the ball game. That so. is the ball game. What a fantastic this is awesome. ending. That was so great. Settle that ball down here. 
the, the Ellie Steves maybe I think yep. uh, almost had a play in that ball, but Paige Barnett there with the uh, with a shot in. So oftentimes you'll see the opposing team will stand over the ball because they don't want the quick start. They yep. want. Oh, uh, that, wow. Yeah, that that was one of those one in a million. Y yep. A tough loss here as the Mustangs come up short again. Back-to-back um, -back games of one nothing losses to, to this Millis squad. But, you know, again, a Millis program that is extremely talented. We saw that early on, Eric, in terms of their movement to the ball. In cross-country action this week, both boys and girls drop a decision to Millis at the Colquitt Middle School Racing Grounds, where the girls were defeated 50-15 to and the boys were defeated 37-19. to We caught up with both coaches Matt Curran and Amy Worcester for the report. Overall, it was a little disappointing. We lost 1937. Um, Millis came in. Uh, we knew they had a good one, two. Their third kind of surprised me. Their number three runner made a huge leap from last year, so that was a little unexpected. When you go one, two, three against the team um, you, you cross country, you can't recover from that. However, from our results, I mean, we had a pretty decent day. Um, some of the younger, some of the younger veterans, so to speak. The two uh, sophomores, Dylan Hamway and O'Brien, came in right where they left off last year. Um, Jacob Bodenhofer improved upon last year. Um, Preston Coyle, a senior who uh, you can tell came in shape and it showed he had dropped his time by over a minute, uh, even from just last year's race. So, you know, disappointed in the, in, the, in the loss, but, you know, as far as times go and for the first meet, you know, it's definitely something to work with and to think of as a positive. Last week went pretty well. Um, it was our first meet of the season and we haven't competed since February, so we were just really excited to get back to competing. Um, Olivia Baudet was our first finisher. Um, we are about where we were last year in the middle of the season, so we're hoping we can have a big improvement to the end. Personally, we're going to be just looking at our own personal, trying to get a personal best. So we're just looking to improve and run our best times later in the season. Um, we're hoping to end the season with PRs. And we're looking forward to our senior day, which will be against Stedham in two weeks. And finally for golf, the team hit the road this week after a hefty slate of home competition at Norwalk Country Club to take on Westwood and Medfield. The decision to Medfield was dropped 248 to 239, and there was a loss of Westwood to round out the week. And we pick up right where we left off this weekend, and the opponent this time is Dover Sherborne. Be sure to tune in live to NCM as our weekend coverage begins at 11 a.m. tomorrow with Boys JV Soccer. And that's all for sports this week. Thank you for watching and keep it here next week for the recap of all the action versus the Dover and Cranborn Raiders. Welcome back uh, for the second half of the Norwood Mustangs Dover Sherburn Raiders matchup. Um, as we said earlier, this is game number two of a back to back this weekend. And yesterday, DS came out on top four to one. Um, sounds like it was a, a close game regardless of the score. So we're back at it with another close game. Um, we're down one nothing. Mustangs are down one nothing at the moment. Um, but hoping to pick up the momentum a little bit the second half and get some offense going. They haven't had a ton of opportunities. Um, but right there you can see Maggie Curran's hungry to bring it down to their end. Shannon Gover right in the mix there. Trying to keep the ball in Mustang territory. Gets it out to Mary Lee. No. Nope, Bree. Oh, Bree. They do look similar from up here. They all look similar from up here. Um, we have Molly Mannering over on the far side. It'll be a Mustang ball coming out of our end. Ball kind of trickled wide right. No. Not a Mustang ball. My, my fault. Looks like DS ball at the 25. So Mustangs are on defense here. That was a whistle. So we'll have, we'll have a chance to clear it out here. Once again on the 25. Caroline Davy looks wide to Molly Mannering. Trying to get that pass up there to yeah. Maggie. Trying to get it through. 
Everyone's just that much more bunched up together in the 7v7, so they're all adjusting, sort of figuring out sort of the new way of play, if you will. Maggie tries to intervene there, but number 11 keeps it on her stick. Oh, great play by Shannon. And Shannon gets in there instead. White ball, trying to get up to Molly. Oh, great kick there by Coach Notabart. <laughs> as long as we don't touch it with our hands. Yep. Shannon was fighting for it, but Blue came through. Yes, ball. We have Delaney Gover back there on the defense. Thought about trying to get it through there. A little bit of congestion down there in the circle, but we cleared it out. Trying to get it through. Outside the 20 if we can. Oh. Good save by Talia. She just cleared it right out of there. Didn't even give it a chance. So this will be a DS ball down in the Norwood end. Quick wow, turn. quick reverse and Talia had it saved. That was impressive. Blue DS ball. They're bringing it down inside the 10. Girl tries to reverse, but oh. Bree was all over that, not letting it happen. Oh, great pass. She gets it up to Maggie. Maggie's going to carry it and probably should bring it down as far as she can get it, cross it over to Molly. Oh, and hits Hits the foot of the DS player there. Maggie looking for Molly on that far side. So now Maggie and Molly are up top. D would love to get it over to them. We have Shannon Gover with it on her stick, trying to get it through into the circle. The issue is getting it on in a place that they can get a good shot off. Shannon's going to try to cross it in, I imagine. Right there, oh. if Molly can reverse that. Uh, so close. That was probably their, their best opportunity of the game so far. Passing it out. Shannon Gover's going to take it. Over to Molly Mannering, who will try to turn it around and bring it back into the circle. Caroline will get back as Delaney Gover is the only one back here at the moment. Nice job, Caroline. And then Blue looks like they got control. Delaney's steady there, not letting them get through her. Passes it up, trying to get it to Molly Mannering. Oh, oh six get six gets caught hooked. there. Looks like they'll call it and it will be DS ball. We're back on defense here with Maggie intercepting that pass. Over to, good little cross over to Molly Mannering. Maggie can catch this. She might have an opportunity to bring it in. Oh, there's on Maggie. Good little dish over to Bree, who gives it back. A little give and go to back to Molly Mannering. Blue 
with a long hit. But Shannon gets over there. Or sorry, Delaney gets over there. My my fault. Delaney Gover gets it up to Brie LeBlanc. Oh. Looks like Bree's ball. She's going to try to get it across here. Blue, and they're going to have to get white back here. And Caroline's ready for her. Maybe to play some defense, but 10 turning her speed up. Trying to get across. Wow. That's a great a running finish. running shot with a lot of force. Um, wow, clipped right through Talia. So that will put uh, DS up 2 nothing. Um, we have about seven and a half left in this quarter, just about halfway through. I think that was, um, that happened quite quickly. And, you know, Nord might not have quite been ready for it. So looks like Coach Dolliner is doing a couple subs. Um, give these girls a break. It's a lot. It's a lot of running with the seven v seven, as we mentioned earlier. So, it's good to kind of keep the girls coming in and out and give them that rest they need. We have Lizzie Cardini come in here, number twenty, on the uh, right side. Jenna Costa, trying to get some energy going. I believe one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Uh, DS has someone on a penalty, so they are down. Right. We have Norwood on the ball now. Kind of Costa trying to control that middle area. Over to Lizzie, and then we have Mary Lee up front as well. Looks like it'll be a Norwood ball. Right here at the 25, Maddie Berry's taking it. She will pass over to Jenna. Oh. Another opportunity here. Oh, nope, oh, DS ball. DS ball. DS ball to clear out, but Maddie Berry was there, ready to intervene. Caroline Davy there to back it up. And there's Shannon with it. No, sorry, Delaney. I will get this right. Delaney Gover. Looking up for a pass. She's just going to do oh. a big hit through. Which they haven't done a lot of, so it might be a good move. You can hear you can hear Coach Dolliner telling Delaney that's exactly what she wanted her to do. Wouldn't mind if she did it again. So those big hits are helpful. It it saves um, a lot of the interfering of the passes. Maddie Berry hustling back to keep up with number ten. Good job. Uh, Looks like oh, Mustang ball. Mustang ball. Worked. Great Good job, job Maddie. Maddie. Passing it up, trying to get it through to someone there with an opening. Jenna Costa got turned around a little bit. We have Caroline Davy trying to sneak in there. Shadowing for, uh, 14 on DS. And then we have Maddie playing on number seven over on the far left side.
like it should be a Diaz ball maybe up at the 25 I think looking at about four minutes left in this quarter Luckily wide. Um, wasn't the clearest shot, but definitely, a sh you know, had a chance there. But stayed right of Talia. Molly Mannering runs to it. That's a whistle. Looks like we have Delaney that's going to take it from about the 30. Up to Molly. Big pass, big pass through. That's what they needed. Jenna needs to cross it over. Oh, Great. She gets it. Oh. oh, goodness. So close. Maddie Berry. Oh. oh. And they have Kate Rogers in there. DS just who finding was a way just, to keep yep. out of the net. Kate Rogers was just like a second off. Not to her fault even. I mean, she didn't know where the ball was going to go. That was, you know, another great opportunity. That Now they've had a couple. So they're going to call that, I think, because it came off the ground. Blue Diaz. Ball, but Maddie gets there. Oh, darn. She tried to steal it. They're going to give it back to Blue. Seven's carrying it, but Caroline, or sorry, Maddie Berry's staying with her. She's not letting her give her, she's not giving her much space. A little reverse hit there over to 10. Oh, great defense by Delaney there. Nice work. Delaney's going to oh. try to go for the big ball, but gets it up to Molly. Oh, so. Jenna uses that speed. It was almost there. <clears throat> Out on blue, so it'll be Mustang ball. Just over a minute left, so again, enough time to get it down there, but not too much time to fool around with it. They just need to get it into the circle. Try to get a shot or two off. Okay, keep it in. Stick down, there we go. I think it should go out on blue, which means there'll be a Mustang ball with just under a minute left. She's going to try to get it through, I would guess. Right over to Molly. 30 seconds left. <laughs> so now we need to play defense and try to get it back into the circle. Molly's on it. 20 seconds on the clock. What we don't want is them to take off and get a last-minute shot off. Definitely not. Mustangs look good this quarter. Unlucky not to have one themselves. Time might, time might run out just on this play alone. Five seconds left. And I think they'd be okay with that being down at that end. And that is half, I mean, sorry, that is the end of the next quarter. Um, and we're still down 2 nothing. Norwood had a great little chance there at the end. So hopefully more of those in the quarter to come. And we will be back in a few minutes.
back here at Murray Field. Um, 15 minutes to go here in this matchup. And down 2 nothing. Plenty of time to catch up, tie it up, and jump ahead. Um, we have our senior junior core out there starting for us and hoping they can get this rhythm in place. Looks like Shannon Gover trying to take it up the sideline on the far side. Um, Coach Dolliner did comment that yesterday both Gover girls, Delaney and Shannon, played very well. Um, we're seeing that again. She she was proud of their play, Talia's play, amongst many of the other girls that got out there. We just hope the Mustangs can get one early here, try and change the momentum of this game in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I think if they could get a goal, they could certainly get an energy going that... Uh allow them to sort of propel forward for the rest oh. of the game. There's Maggie Curran, a little tap through. Over to Good Bree. To Bree. Bree getting it to the middle. Delaney's coming back up. Delaney's going to keep it up at our end. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll keep with it. Oh, great move. And that's Shannon, not to, No, that is Delaney. That's Delaney. I mean, one of these days, I swear. Not sure the call there, but it's going to be on Maggie Diaz. Ball coming out. Try to block it up here. And Bree stops it and gets a good hit. But it is blocked by DS number four. We have Shannon trying to stay with it. Caroline Davies supporting her. Oh. oh, a little physical play there. Molly goes rolling off the ball. But gets up quickly. Really bounces back up, has her stick. And they're going to try to carry it down. She's right back in the play. Oh. Trying to get it through to Maggie Curran. Couple whistles there. Mustang ball. Shannon passing over to Bree. Bree trying to carry it up. And 13 Blues carrying it down strongly, but Caroline Davy breaks it up. Pretty definitively. Blue DS ball to 25. They're trying to move quickly. Shannon breaks that up and she's trying to get it out. Passes over to Molly to take it wide. Molly, little hit up the sideline there. Maggie Curran tries to get there. Delaney coming over. Pass up to Bree. Bree looking for Maggie here. Bree, a great hit. Maggie could break through here and take it down. Well, Maggie's in. She can get herself centered. She's a force to be reckoned with if she has her feet centered. Goes a little left. And DS just Ooh, finding a way give and go. to keep that ball. I know. A little give and go there. Molly trying to keep it in. Oh, you can, great pass. And over to Maggie. Oh, she had a big hit there. That was just, that number 11 was just right there to block it, unfortunately. And I think, you know, as the game goes on, they're more and more tired. Delaney trying to carry it up. Touched her foot, unfortunately, so it'll be blue DS ball. They're going to hit it. 
and uh, Shannon will grab it. Delaney looking for an open player. So she's going to try to do a big hit just outside, unfortunately. DS11 takes it. Ooh, Ooh. right in debris. Looks like she's all right, but it was a quick bounce off the face there. Yeah. Doesn't feel great. That's going to sting. <laughs> yep. I feel like your ball's not soft. Nine minutes left here in the game. Bree tries to cross it over to Jenna, who tries to get it back oh, to her. Great way to keep it in. Gets across in. Who's in? Who's there? Who's there? Maddie Berry gets it up. Whistle, so we'll give it to DS, who's going to carry it down. Maddie Berry right there with her, trying to break it up. Norwood's ball. Caroline Davies going to take it. She's about halfway through the quarter. You can see JV warming up over there, so they'll be up next after this game. Full slate of games here at Murray Field. Yeah, this is the third of four. I mean, it's literally the perfect day for it. You, could, you couldn't ask for more perfect fall weather. Jenna's up there. She's wheeling and dealing, trying to bring it to the center, and it goes over the end line, unfortunately. Four gets it up. Caroline there trying to steal it back for the Mustangs. It's a blue hit. Now Maddie Berry's there playing defense. Talia steps up. Good little clear there. Good job, Talia. Mary Lee getting in the mix. And another Talia one. Again. Great kick. Oh, Mary Lee. Oh, Mary. Stays pushes with it. it through, pushes it through with her strength and speed and up to Jenna Costa. She's going to have to try to center it if she can. Allison Dolliner is, you know, yelling to them to get it on goal. She just wants them to get it in a place where they can get a decent shot. With six minutes left, two, two goal deficit. It's important to um, on the attack give here. themselves some opportunities. Ten who's... Oh. Whoa, good defense and good, good hustle. All right, blue shot from in the circle, high. Goes right in. I'm not sure Talia even had a chance to get to it because some of them were still recovering from the play before. So now we are looking at a 3-0 DS lead, unfortunately, here on Murray Field. But there are five and a half minutes left, 5.48 to be exact. So the Mustangs want to get one in. They want to close the gap a little bit here. Great shot by the DS player. Can't take anything away from that.
Yeah, number 10 on DS has looked very good today. Always involved in the goals. Number four, Mary, Mary Lee trying to fight through it. She can be strong and aggressive in a very positive way. So oh. they like having her out there for that reason. Looks like, ooh. Oh, yikes. Looks like that is Shannon that took one off the ankle. Right back in it. Blue three. Oh. Doing some subs here. Keep the girls rested up for these final minutes. See if they can notch one on the board. Bringing Bree back in, Mary Lee's out. We have Jenna up front and Kate Rogers up front, another senior. Oh, great play by Kate. Molly Mannery has it on the far side. Hopefully creating an opportunity here. Make it a two goal game, but a little far wide, left side. 421 to go. Ooh, big hit. Jenna Costa stops it. Through Molly Mannering. Want to try to get it up to the front here. Bree has it and bringing it oh, through. Great move. It's broken up a little bit, but she's sticking with it. These girls aren't giving up. I give them a lot of credit. I mean, it's a, it's a lot of field hockey play. It's exhausting, um, but they're fighting through. They want to get on that board. Good stop by Caroline Davey. She pushes it up to Molly Mannering. Molly over to Jenna. Good little sequence there. Jenna back to Molly, who's going to settle it on her stick and pass it through. Maybe Bree can do a quick reverse here, get a shot off. Ooh, so oh. close. Nice. Bree from basically her knees <laughs> gets that shot in on the far left side. That was really impressive, and she stuck with it. Congrats to the Mustangs. They get on the board 3-1 with 2.50-ish to go. I don't know, on the goal. That was like the perfect sort of representation of this this game. They just haven't stopped fighting. And Bree like literally was on the ground and took one more slap at it. And it went right through everyone into the goal. Looking at 2.45 left. Here at Murray Field, three to one, DS is up by two. But these girls are fighting to the last second. Yes, with the ball down here at the 20. They certainly don't want to allow it to get any closer, so they're going to battle through too. Just about two minutes left. Go, 
can hear the uh, the girls on the Mustang bench cheering on their teammates, encouraging them to push through for this last couple minutes. Number 10 blue up in our end, trying to get her stick on it. But Delaney just did a great job. Oh. And Bree back in it. Number 11 blue still fighting. And Shannon Gover coming through with the ball, trying to get it out up to Bree, who's trying to get to Maggie Curran. Good strong push to Molly. Oh. What have just over a minute left here, Murray Field. And Bree pushes it up again. I was a little bit off there on the clock. Okay. That's the game. So, um, final score, 3-1 DS. Um, I thought as the game went on, the girls continued to improve, and I'm hoping that, you know, they build on a game like this for the rest of the season. Um, it's just exciting to have everyone back out here. Um, obviously, it's a different setup. Every every um, game schedule is a little different, but I think the girls are just so happy to be playing their sport, especially for the seniors. Um, so 3-1 DS over, DS over Norwood. Um, thanks for tuning in from Tyler and myself, and we will catch you at the next game. Yep, looking forward to it.